Welcome back, everybody. It was one year ago this month, Chef Thomas Hauck was proud to give us a tour of his refreshed Cararatras restaurant, but the giant German beer hall never did enough business, and over the weekend, Rachas closed after 113 years as a Milwaukee staple. Chef Hauck sat down with me this morning to reflect on the end of an era. If there's one thing a chef knows, it's that everybody is a critic. Chef Thomas Houck heard plenty last year when he freshened up the arguably stale Milwaukee institution, Carl Roch Restaurant. There was no longer a tablecloth with paper on top of it, or there wasn't Christmas year round, or the same server wasn't there for the last 35 years. And just a change in general. Change can be a tough thing. Those changes, while mostly cosmetic cleanups of a dusty old dining room, alienated loyal customers. Some would walk in, simply look around, and walk out. With the older clientele, it was dicey. We, we like to joke that like 55 and up, it was a little chaotic. 75 and up, it was like, whoa. But 45 and down, they really enjoyed it because it's something new to them or something they hadn't seen in you know, 25, 30 years. But the younger crowd never came in the numbers needed to keep a giant beer hall in business. A good month still meant losing thousands of dollars. Didn't really start to get any better. And then we had hoped for February, Valentine's Day, and February didn't get better, and then here comes March, and it's like, okay, you can only, you can only go down for so far before you start to signal for help. How could hope to give this 113-year-old restaurant a proper send-off, but that was not in the cards. Instead, a brief thank you on social media was also a goodbye. Today, he's back at work in his other kitchen, circa 1880. This place and his family mean Hauk has no time to kick himself over what could have been. We got this place and, you know, my kids gave me a big hug on Sunday morning like there was no difference in the world, so that's okay. Hauk expects circa 1880 to survive just fine once all the financial chips fall where they may. No word yet on what will happen to all the great antiques that came with Roch's restaurant.